it all. It was two good teams. I thought it was a fabulous competition. Exactly, if, you know, when you want it. Last week of the regular season, it was. This is what you want to do. You want to play a great team that's positioned to go to the tournament themselves. I thought it was a fabulous game. Mm -hmm. Tense. I mean, you can't handle tension. You shouldn't be here anymore. Sure. It's that sixth inning, especially. It just seemed like it was a little oh, bit. That that's what. But she, that's what it's all about. You know, I thought she pitched brilliantly, brilliantly, and. She located the ball where, where it needed to go. I thought it was one of her finest performances of the year. What do you guys know about Fordham coming up? It's going to be a tough game just like this one. They're a very, very good team. They have a great offense. They have a great pitcher on the mound. And they can play defense, so I expect more of what we had today for the weekend. And LaSalle, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not going to play on Sunday, but Fordham's first, and we got a game on Friday, one game, and that's one game at a time. I thought BU played very, very well, and I hope Jamie Mask is okay because she just stepped backwards. I mean, that's a big... Do we know big, what happened with that? No, it was just, she, she just backed up. And, you know, like when you just, and it was nothing. I mean, it was just, I mean, so you really hope that a great player like that, that's a leadoff hitter. Yeah, it was right after the timeout, I think. Yeah, I mean, just, she just, it wasn't even playing. She just went, yeah. she went like this and she said, she felt her ankle turn, go yeah. figure. So that's really, I hope she's okay. She's yeah. a good kid. She's weird. Um, What's the mood of the, the girls right now? I mean, they're the finals being oh over and you're going we're on the getting, road. We're getting close to dreamland. This is what you play for, right? Yeah, they're playing and we're just going to be playing softball and, you know, our exams are done and we can really just enjoy it mm -hmm. and not have to run to a meeting or, you know, it's just, I mean, they're great students. You know, we're good students, but this is what it's you nice, live for. It's nice to get I mean, out you of live it. for the postseason. Yeah, That's definitely. what it's all about. And I know you must have been asked this question a hundred times all year. I'm going to ask it again. What's it been like to coach Sarah? And this is probably maybe her last a time dream. here. A dream. I think that she has a great gift of kinesthetic awareness that she came to me with and came to UMass with that you say to her, you know, you need to do this and this, and she feels it immediately. And most people have to work through that, you know, many, many times, and she's able to make adjustments so quickly. I mean, that's just such a great gift for an athlete, mm -hmm. you know, or she was going to be a surgeon. Anybody that needs to do anything, that she can just adjust like that. I mean, that's her God-given talent. And, you know, the little kid from Bristol that nobody ever heard of. And that's just fantastic. Fantastic. And she she works hard. I mean, she is diligent about her workouts. She does her weights. I mean, she's just a diligent worker. So she deserves, she deserves what she's achieved. I mean, she's worked very hard for it. What has she taught you? She's taught me... Um, a lot about communication and visual versus verbal and you know making sure that even though you're looking at me you might not be getting it and she's taught me a lot I mean honestly all of them do because I think you're getting what I'm saying and then you write down that I said she was you know came like the stuff you know and I'm like you know he didn't get it so I mean and she's really I mean we've had a, a great relationship for years I mean she's like like just fantastic kid you know and it's it's but honestly I wouldn't want to sit and not have you think that all of the kids are great because it's really sure. enjoyable to work with them mm -hmm. you know it's fun it's the best job in the world well congratulations on Thank the win you. well I knew that I had to do it like, I was gap I was ready and then you know she threw her wild pitch first wild pitch of the game it was lucky but it was really perfect timing so when she got to third I said you know I need to do this I need to get it done just get a hit and that's what I did you, uh, your defense was challenged out there today. They hit a couple balls over your heads, but you also made some, some good running catches. Talk about uh, just playing a tough team like BU. Yeah. Well, we knew that they were a good team. They always are. They're good competition for us. And we are very much more prepared than we were last year, and we were ready to play. We, we were well aware they could hit the ball, so we were ready. We were expecting the balls. And we can make the play, so we did. What? Um, I mean, they're a really good team. We had to show up and play our hardest today, and we did. Um, we struggled in the beginning, but at the end, I mean, Dell ramped it up, and she was able to get us a really good hit and score the run. And um, then pitching and hitting, other than that, we put it all together. You, uh, you seemed you like you were getting first pitch strikes across all day. What, uh, what was your approach today? My approach today was one pitch at a time. I had to. Um, calm myself down and just throw. No, I can throw. So um, one pitch at a time, taking slow. That was my approach.